Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? You know how this works? Uh, so I just always remind people this non exact science. Um, if something doesn't make sense now, just keep it in mind because you'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. They'll go, ah. No, I know what he's talking about. Anyway, he keep, even before I start, he keeps saying, what you doing? What you doing? What are you? What you doing? So, I'm going to talk to Uncle Raymond. Uncle Raymond. Somebody had a nickname for him, like Ray J or something, something like that. It may not be a J, but. Somebody or or the family or something had a had nickname for him that he he kind of went by. He says, "What are you doing hanging out with people that think you got to be all prissy?" Because you don't. That's not life. That's put on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't worry about all that prissy stuff. That's just, he says, that's just the window dressing. That's just the outside. He says, you don't need to worry about that. You need to worry about what's on the inside. And he says, and you're good to go there. He says you're kind of honorary. And he gets this kind of sideways, I can't do it. He's got kind of a sideways smile, you know, like a, I don't want to say snarky smile. Um, kind of a grin, but it's kind of, it's, I don't want to say, it's not crooked, but it's just kind of off to the side, like. <laughs> He's being. <laughs> he says he likes it. Not the smile. He likes you being honorary. Don't let anybody take that away from you. He's mentioning something about a New Year's resolution that you thought about making, but you didn't make. So even if you made a New Year's resolution, this would be something something else you thought thought about uh, making. He said, just live your life day to day the way that you need to. Don't put a time stamp on it. I think he's talking about like your intentions or like if you made a resolution, don't put a time stamp on it where I gotta do it, I gotta do it. He says that's too stressful. Just kick back and enjoy your life. Learn to be mellow and relaxed like me. <laughs> he leans back. I like he's all kicked back and comfy. He says, and just, just follow your gut. Let it lead you where you, where it feels good. Not where you think you have to go, but where it feels good. He said, as long as it's not hurting you or someone else, if it feels good, just follow it. And see where it leads you. 
because he says not everything has to be tied up in a pretty red bow. Just be mellow. He says maybe even have a little drink once in a while. He wants to know if you ever thought about getting on a sailboat. And he says, if you have thought about it and you haven't done it, why not? And I think he's, I don't know if he's actually talking about a physical sailboat or if he's talking about anything. Have you ever thought about going and doing this? Have you ever thought about going and doing that? And then you never did. And if you haven't done things that you've thought about, why not? He says, life's too short to mess around. What are you waiting for? And then he kicks back again like, like he was never in a hurry. He kind of let life come at him, come at, come at him like however it was going to come at him. He says, Some, sometimes you got to wait for it to happen. He says, other times you got to grab the bull by the horns and just go do it. What are you waiting for? Not waiting for Christmas, it was just here. What are you waiting for? And then he just and then he just paused. He mentions cattle. I don't know if you have cattle. He had cattle. He's not saying he just, he, so anything he says, I have to spit out. He's not, he's not explaining things very far. <laughs> he's chewing on a, well, he's laid back. Oh, I mean, he's just relaxed and comfy. Like chewing on a, I don't think it's a toothpick. I think it's more like a piece of straw or something. He says, what's your hurry? What's your hurry? What's your hurry? Be kind to mankind. He's kind of coming up with random stuff. He says, once in a while, you'll get the smell smoke, but it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, but it doesn't smell exactly like wood burning smoke. I almost want to say like a coal oil smoke. I don't even know if I want to say coal oil because I'm not sure what you burn that in. I'm not exactly sure what that would smell like, but it's not. It's not a cigar or cigarette. It doesn't seem to be a campfire. It almost doesn't seem to be like burning wood at the house. And it's kind of like he also has a smell of oil, like engine oil, diesel oil. Like maybe he worked on tractors or engines or that kind of smell. He's You'll get a, I don't know, both of them together or at different times, but you get a little whiff of it. He said he doesn't pop in too often because you don't need it. He's He's been with Uncle C C L. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Clarence, but we really stink at names. 
so that you're going to stretch that outside the box a little bit. Uncle C. Clark, Clarence, something along that line. And now I don't know if he means your uncle or his uncle. He says, we just hang out. <laughs> I don't think he has much of a job up there. <laughs> I think he just gets to be comfy, <laughs> which is a good thing. He said, ah, oh, it's not so bad up here. You don't have to put up with a lot of shitheads. <laughs> he says, that's, that's not a bad thing. He's, he's talking about your shoes. He's showing you with a pair of white shoes. Not tennis shoes. They don't look like Nikes or anything like that. A, 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 like a $10 sneaker. Like something I buy at Walmart. With white socks. Now why he's showing these on your feet? I don't know if you just bought some. Um, he had some you had to throw away. These look brand new. The, the socks and the shoes are really bright white, like brand new out of the box. So I don't know if he's trying to validate himself or validate that he knows something. Or you may look down. <laughs> you may look down and see somebody. Want, I, well, I don't know where you live, but I live in Kansas, and uh, it's like seven degrees today. I don't know anybody going to be wearing them skinny little shoes. They don't look very warm. So, But you might look down. You might even see it in a movie. So I'm not sure what he's trying to validate with that. He says you and only you can make you happy. Don't be looking at some outside source to make you happy. You and only you can make you happy. And that's the only way it'll work. You have to fulfill yourself. You have to do what you think you need to do to make you happy. He says, within reason. Don't, don't think somebody else can fill that void because then if something happens to them, that void's still there. You have to fill that void. And then go out and kick your heels up. Have the time on your life because you can. Don't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow may never come. I think he already said this, but he says, take life by the horns. He's showing you like grabbing the horns of a bull and kind of wrestling with it. Go grab it. Grab it while you can. There are no guarantees in anything. So make your life worth it. He said even as lazy, not lazy, sorry, laid back as I was, I still made my life worth it, in my opinion. And then give two hoots, two hoots to a ground squirrel, something like that. I don't know what kind of saying he maybe he used to say, but he might stretch that one out. Two hoots to a ground squirrel? I never heard that one. What anybody else thought. And don't be afraid to do it. So with that, he's going to leave. 
Um, <laughs> now I gave you a lot to think about. Yeah. Didn't act like he got too worried about much of anything when he was here. And he still isn't too worried about it. He says, sometimes you got to go with the flow. But make sure the flow is going in the right direction. Okay, with that, he's kind of sauntering off. Okay, much love to you, my dear Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. Voice for your loved ones. See you later.